All right, what's going on you guys it's royce jacob welcome back to the channel and in this video i'm gonna give you guys my current take on grayscale bitcoin trust or ticker symbol gbtc now if you guys want to invest in a stock that's pretty much guaranteed to do well when bitcoin does well then gbtc is going to be your best bet and that's because grayscale bitcoin trust is as the name states a bitcoin trust all right so grayscale as a company is the largest custodial service for digital assets in the world all right fun fact i think grayscale owns somewhere in the ballpark of two percent of all the bitcoin in circulation so they do own more Bitcoin than any other individual entity on the planet, which is a big deal. Makes me very bullish on Grayscale as a company. They also have Grayscale Ethereum Trust, which is <clears throat> which is on fire as well lately. I will cover that in a future video. They also just added a Litecoin Trust, so they specialize in digital assets, but we're focusing on Grayscale Bitcoin Trust today. All right. So over the course of this video, we will take a look at Grayscale's chart on trading views. You can see here in the back. I'll let you guys know what I am thinking from a technical perspective. We will also take a look at Bitcoin's chart, and the reason for this. I do want to let you guys know what I'm, I'm thinking of Bitcoin in terms of price action because that is directly correlated to what Grayscale will do, obviously. But the main reason I want to put the two charts side by side for you guys is to show you guys how correlated they are, okay? So when you look at these two side by side right now, you can see that Grayscale's chart looks a lot more extreme than Bitcoin's, okay? And that is because of the premium, all right? When you buy a share of Grayscale stock, of GBDC stock, you are paying them to hold Bitcoin for you pretty much, okay? They are a custodial service, all right? So when you buy a share of Grayscale, you're paying them pretty much to hold some Bitcoin for you in their trust, all right? And that's why you can see here, uh, the high of Grayscale was at $40 at one point. It's almost, it's at 12, like around 12, okay? So it's about three times, it, it would have to 3X from here to get to a previous high that it hit in 2017. But Bitcoin right now is at about $10,000, okay? So it would only have to 2X um, to get to where it was in 2017. All right, that is the primary reason that I'm personally more bullish on, um, that is one of the many reasons we will get into, into more um, later on in this video. But that's one of the reasons in, the, in itself, the premium, um, that I'm very bullish on the fact that Grayscale Bitcoin, GBTC stock, could outperform Bitcoin, um, just BTC itself, okay? So I will explain that a little more over the course of this video. We will also take a look at Grayscale Bitcoin's website. Uh, if you guys have tuned into these before, you would know that I like to look at the companies or stocks that we're looking at websites, um, just because I like to know how these how these companies represent themselves and how they present themselves, brand themselves, etc. Explain themselves in their own words, all right? So take a quick look at the website. This isn't completely necessary, but I think it's a good thing to do. We will then look at, again, this chart that explains the premium, okay? And I want to show you guys this chart of the premium um, relative to the price of actual Bitcoin. So I want to explain to you guys why this is important and kind of expand on that. And then I want to go over this article with you guys that covers their last, um, kind of their last earnings report and some of the progress they're making in 2020. That was just, uh, this was about two weeks ago, July 15th uh, was the time of this article. So fairly recent, I guess depends on when you're watching this, but huge news. I want to cover this with you, with you guys and uh, just explain to you guys why I'm so bullish on the stock. All right. So before we do get into this, I will ask you guys to please give the video a like if you do go on to gain value from it, or if you are invested in any of the Grayscale products, subscribe to the channel if you're new around here and check out my complete portfolio daily newsletter first thing in the description if you want to know exactly how i'm investing and trading in these things okay so again we will get into these charts i will finish off on these charts but you guys know the deal we have to cover the fundamentals establish an understanding of what the company is and what they do prior to getting into the technicals okay so grayscale again this is kind of a cool enter you see as i move my mouse here the back is kind of moving that's that's a cool feature completely irrelevant to um, to the company but it's cool Grayscale, invest in a digital future. A trusted authority on digital currency investing, Grayscale provides secure access and diversified exposure to the digital currency asset class. All right, so in this next wave of the digital revolution, digital currencies are emerging as what many believe to be the greatest innovation since the advent of the internet. So I, I completely agree. If you guys have tuned in the channel, you guys would know that you know, I'm very bullish on Bitcoin. If, you, if you're not, um, if you're personally not into cryptocurrency that much, I have to imagine you are to some extent if you're watching this video. Um, but I, I definitely encourage you to look into crypto and, and the benefits of blockchain, specifically Bitcoin, okay? So at Grayscale, we believe investors deserve an established, trusted, and accountable partner that can help them navigate digital currency investing. That's where we, we are building transparent, familiar investment products that facilitate access to the burgeoning asset class and provide the springboard to investing in the new dig digital currency-powered internet of money. All right, so again, Grayscale, you, the reason a lot of people like Grayscale institutions to be specific right now. Um, a lot of people are investing in Grayscale just because it's easy, all right? 
Bitcoin, cryptocurrency to a lot of people. Um, again, not to me personally, I've been invested in crypto since about 2016. And I've been involved in the space. I do hold a lot of phys a lot of physical crypto. But to, uh, to be completely honest, even me, someone who's experienced in the space, I do choose to hold the majority of my crypto investment in Grayscale just because it's a lot more convenient. And again, I do see a lot more potential in Grayscale um, Bitcoin stock specifically than Bitcoin itself. So uh, for a multitude of reasons, I like holding Grayscale. Again, it makes it easy, especially for people. Think about people. People, elderly people like pensions 401ks um, institutional investors who don't want to kind of get their hands dirty and, and holding private keys and whatnot if you're familiar with the crypto space grayscale is such an easy easy method an easy way to get um, to gain exposure to the cryptocurrency space without having to kind of deal with some of the some of the um, things that are hard to deal with because realistically uh, for someone who's not uh, somewhat tech savvy it is hard to get your private keys set up and, and like a digital wallet set up and everything okay so i think grayscale is doing a great thing um, again let's move on here to the premium so what is behind the gbdc premium i'll read this and i'll show i'll talk to you guys about these charts all right over the past two years there, there have been four instances where the gbdc premium marked a local bottom and bounced back up as shown above upticks in the premium marked short-term bull bull moments in three of four occurrences okay so this is very bullish um, right now for the reasons I'll show above. Okay, so when you see uh, this top chart, which is the premium, okay, and you can see back here in 2017, the premium was extremely high at about 75%. Okay, so that's why back here, you can see Grayscale was at $40, almost um, 3x, 3 to 4x from where it is now, and Bitcoin was only 2x up. Okay, it's because of the premium. It's because of what investors are willing to pay for the convenience of having Grayscale um, hold some of their Bitcoin for them. Okay, so Again, you can see here where they have circled every time Grayscale hits um, a low premium of where this is marked around. This is around the 9, 10% region. You see that premium immediately spike back up. And where that, uh, where that spikes up is usually followed by a big move up, okay? And that, is, uh, that makes sense perfectly. Again, this, this article specifically, I think, was, uh, came out about a week or two ago. So it makes perfect sense that, um, and it definitely aligns with this. Obviously, aside from right here where it decided to tank, um, but these three occasions followed by right now this is the this is the four out of five times coming to fruition um, you see the grayscale premium just before this big move up and even currently now is at, at, a, at an all-time low around nine percent and again as more institutional adoption okay so we'll move into this and then i'll, I'll kind of rant on the 401ks pensions uh, institutional adoption okay and then we'll get into the charts and finish it up a new Grayscale report, Digital Asset Fund adds 905 million in the record quarter. Okay, so this is their Q2 um, kind of earnings call. Grayscale Investments Q2 report shows a record $905 million of inflow as institutions continue to move into Bitcoin, Ethereum, and other digital assets. Grayscale Investments has just released its quarterly report, which shows that institutional demand for Bitcoin and other digital assets is still on the rise, despite the lack of action from Bitcoin price up until now. Again, this is about two weeks ago now. The report shows that Grayscale had yet another record quarter for digital asset products with $905.8 million invested over that time period. The nearly $1 billion inflow means that Grayscale almost doubled its previous high of 503.7 in the first quarter of 2020. Out of the total amount of the funds accrued by Grayscale, Bitcoin continued to lead the pack with 82.92 or $750 million invested in Grayscale Bitcoin Trust, GBTC, gold GBTC. All right, so I'm just going to read this and then I'll kind of rant on, again, the institutional side. Institutional investors lead the pack. This is important. Institutional investors continue to be the leading demographic of Grayscale's digital asset trust. Currently, they account for 84% of the investment in the second quarter of 2020. All right, so these numbers are huge, you guys. A billion dollars of inflow just in 2020 alone, especially come like 2019 to 2020, they're growing exponentially, as is Bitcoin. And institutional adoption, again, institutional adoption is 84%. That's hedge funds, that's pension, that's pension funds, that's 401ks, that's large players, those are whales who are wanting exposure to Bitcoin. They have to use, as of right now at least, um, they choose to use Grayscale as, as that bridge into Bitcoin lands, okay? And that's, <clears throat> again, excuse me, because investing in Grayscale is easier. For a lot of these large funds, it's hard. And there are a lot of regulations, there are a lot of regulatory hoops that these large funds and institutions need to jump through to invest in Bitcoin. Again, because it is kind of still the Wild West. We're coming a long way. We're definitely a long way where we are now from where we were like back in 2017. That was really um, a lot more Wild Westy. But again, it's, it's just for the convenience. When you're investing at that scale, like a lot of these funds, a lot of these pension plans are gonna be investing. Um, 
you want you want ease of access you're willing to pay that premium that we're looking at to grayscale in order to have some exposure to bitcoin have some exposure to this very exciting asset class that is bitcoin and cryptocurrency you're willing to pay that premium to get some exposure to it and not have to do with all the kind of all the stressful things that i was talking about a little bit earlier okay so again institutions hedge funds pension plans 401ks uh, older people who want to put retirement money or like they're like have some exposure to this asset class in their retirement account and whatnot which is a huge demographic there's a lot of money in that space a lot of new money in that space a lot of old new money okay so grayscale for those reasons is so bullish in my mind again with that premium people are willing to pay for convenience uh, that's i mean i'm sure you guys know that that is obvious people love convenience and people are willing to pay a premium for that all right so again we will take a look at these charts and we'll wrap it up all right, so grayscale Bitcoin, again, you can see here it peaked at about $40 when Bitcoin was at $20,000. I don't think it's out of out of the ballpark at all, especially, again, you guys, when we look at this, we're currently at a very low premium historically, okay? You can see the premium is capable of getting up to 75%. And again, you guys, with so much institutional interest, with so much more money flowing into the sector, I would be surprised at all to see the premium come back to at least about 30 30 to 40 percent where it's bouncing at a lot around here pretty consistently so so the the premium itself can at least double from this point and that's huge again because the premium dictates how much better grayscale bitcoin gbdc will do than bitcoin so imagine if bitcoin which uh what i'm about to say, what i'm about to say i completely believe in i think bitcoin over the coming year i think by the end of the 2021 for a fact bitcoin will have touched a hundred thousand dollars at some point within that timeline Okay, so that's a wild claim, but when you look at the history of Bitcoin, it's not wild at all, okay, you guys? I encourage you to go look into Bitcoin itself, all right? Go look into Bitcoin, and you can see over a year, like, we can, we can go back a few years. Like, Bitcoin years ago, it's hard to even see back here, but Bitcoin, like, Bitcoin was at $10 in 2013. It was, a, it was only a few hundred dollars, like a few hundred dollars a coin up until like mid-2017 when it saw that bull rally, okay? So we know what Bitcoin can do. Bitcoin can do. Bitcoin is a very young asset. Bitcoin's only 10 years old. It was invented in 2009, okay? So Bitcoin has so much potential ahead of it. The volatility scares some people, but I think the volatility is a, is a plus for Bitcoin because it draws eyes to it, okay? When people see, especially in this retail-driven market, that's another reason that I think Grayscale is going to be good too, okay? Retail investors are bigger than ever, okay? The Robinhood trader, there's more downloads of E-Trade, Robinhood, um, these, these like very ease of use investment apps that people can invest in stocks in, okay? And that's what makes me so bullish on a stock as opposed to a crypto. Again, a lot of these newer investors, crypto is still a little scary, even to the younger generation, okay? But when you can just buy a stock, then it makes it that much less scary, okay? So that's that's another reason on top of all the rest of that I've already mentioned that I'm bullish on Grayscale. I do wanna preface also by saying, I should have mentioned this earlier, but you cannot buy, I talk about Robinhood a lot. I do, tra I do trade a lot of options on Robinhood. Um, but you cannot buy Grayscale Bitcoin Trust or Grayscale Ethereum Trust on Robinhood as of right now, okay? So Grayscale is still an over-the-counter stock. So I personally use TD Ameritrade to buy Grayscale Bitcoin. It does cost about $6 a trade because it is OTC. Um, so if you guys uh, can't buy it on, if you guys only use Robinhood, you can use TD Ameritrade. There's probably other platforms that do it too, okay? But just keep that in mind. I just wanna let you guys know that. But again, nonetheless, people love stocks right now. Stocks are hotter than ever. and if Bitcoin does well, I, I just, I'm so bullish on the fact that, that Grayscale will outperform Bitcoin. And, I, and my money's on that, you guys know that. And um, I look forward to, to letting you guys know what this stock does in the future and following this, okay? Quick rundown on Bitcoin. I did mention this in the last video, but I'll say it again just because I think it's important. Bitcoin, if you guys don't know, just recently, just literally yesterday, broke this multi-year downtrend that it said, okay, since the bull rally in 2017, it's been in a multi-year downtrend, okay? Using this line as a line of resistance, it just broke out of that and broke out significantly yesterday and today. So, I mean, it's off to the race at this point. If, Bic if Bitcoin can get past this previous high that it set back in mid-2019, about a year ago, of, of like thirteen, fourteen thousand dollars, then I see. Uh, I would not be surprised to see a, see a pretty much a straight shot up to twenty thousand dollars. Once it breaks past twenty k, then it's off to the races again. I keep in mind, guys, things don't just go straight up. I I, I know I said it's a straight shot. It's not going to be a straight shot, most likely. Um, keep in mind, guys. I did. I I've been around the space for a long time. It's it's very volatile. You have to proceed with caution if you want exposure into this. You have to be able to stomach loss, but you have to be prepared for gain as well. Okay, and I do. 
with the break with this break in trend significant break in trend i do believe we'll see I, I think we're in the second bull rally. I think we're in the second bull market of, of cryptocurrencies and Bitcoin. And I'm really excited to, um, to just keep you guys posted on this journey. And again, I, I always encourage you guys, this is not financial advice, you guys know the deal, to, to go in and do your own research. Look into Bitcoin, Ethereum, um, Chainlink's a great one. And again, with these stocks, Grayscale Bitcoin, um, Grayscale Ethereum Trust, Riot. I just made a video on Riot, the Bitcoin mining company. There's so many exciting players within this sector. And you know I'll keep you guys posted. So we will call it there, you guys. If you guys do want to know exactly um, what my positions are in all of, literally all these stocks, I have positions in all of them, um, how I'm trading them personally, you guys can check out my complete portfolio and daily newsletter. First link down below. Um, it's exactly as it states, a complete breakdown of my entire portfolio, call options, put options, stock positions, cryptocurrencies. Um, if you are interested, along with that, I do send out a, a, a daily newsletter on every trading day during market hours, talking about the trades I'm making that day, rationalizing my thoughts behind the trades I'm making, and just letting you guys know my thoughts on the current markets. Okay, so again, check that out if you're interested. If not, no worries. Again, I really look forward to keeping you guys posted on Grayscale. Um, on all these all these exciting things happening in the cryptocurrency sector okay so let me let me know down below what stocks within this sector you're excited about what cryptos you're excited mm -hmm. about and um again until then you guys always remember take action make waves peace